guide and I show you how to use them and why you might want to use them and different ways to use them. So anyway, just come along, like I said, for a little paper crafting. You, um, I would love it if you would say hello to me. If you would say hello to each other, there's quite a nice little community going on here. And um, also, please feel free to like, subscribe, share to your friends. That is really um, probably the best way for me to get the word out is to have your help. So I do appreciate you for doing that and you help the Stamping Zoo grow bit by bit and I just love it. It's so fun. So anyway, I um, welcome you into all of this <laughs> and uh, we're gonna have some fun tonight with uh, a stamp set that's been around for a while actually and I've been wanting to uh, create with it for a while and just hadn't made the time and then I was like now's the time I'm actually going to use it for a class I'm having on Saturday morning as well I will not show you the card that I'm making that is I'll show you later I can show you next week but the crafters that are coming get to see it first but anyway hello everyone I'm gonna take a look here hello we have Jean who is sharing we are also gonna have a drawing um, tonight for some prizes. We had phenomenal shares and phenomenal audience last week. You guys, I love it. Thank you so much. I'm telling you right now, heartfelt thanks. I appreciate it. And it was so fun for me to watch all of these comments. I tried to keep up, but I ended up responding to some of them tonight. Um, I pulled all of the shares and I just, I mean, I just sat here like this. Let me show you. <laughs> Maybe not exactly like that, but I'm pretty animated. You know this, right? So anyway, it's been a really fun week for me. Like I said, tons of shares over on YouTube. So hello to YouTube. <laughs> Thank you so much. And um, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, it's growing. It's grew, it grew quite a bit last week. So anyway, I love uh, just the feedback, the knowing that you're enjoying what I'm doing here for you. Um, but also, if you have any special requests, you can just uh, put them in the comments. And if I, you know, if you want to watch, or if you would like me to create with a certain project, a certain project, certain products, or if you'd like to see a certain project, a certain 3D item or something, if I can help, if I can do it, I would love to work it into these regular um, videos that I do. My screen is freezing right now, so it's being wacky, but I'm just trying to not look at it. <laughs> but if you see me looking very odd, <laughs> that's one of the reasons why. So anyway, hello. Oh, Anne says hello from her craft room. I love that so much. Who else is in their craft room? Give me a thumbs up if you're in a crafty space. Maybe your whole home is your crafty space. That's really how it is for me. Like it kind of stays contained in here, but um, when I am getting ready for a class or God help me um, a retreat, the whole house. <laughs> it's not a very big house. That's why it has to be a craft room. So anyway, who's in their crafty space tonight? And hello everybody. You're saying hello to each other. I love it so much. And you're sharing already. You don't even know what I'm gonna do. It might be horrible. <laughs> it's never horrible because I'm spending time with you guys, right? So hello, Lori and hello, Jean. I think I said hi to you, but hello. I'm always glad to see you. Jean is usually the first person that comes on. She, little known fact, they must have the fastest internet in North Dakota. <laughs> so anyway, hello. Yes, and lots of you are not far after. Hello to Susan. In Florida nice to see you and there's another Floridian Roz and Sherry hi Sherry I hope you're doing well Kathy Strang hi Kathy you getting your strength back Kathy Kathy's made some gorgeous cards in the past week she was worried that she might be losing her mojo after taking a little time off for some get her strength back her physical strength but I've got news for her and for the rest of you in case you're worried don't be. She's got her crafty mojo. <laughs> Roz is sharing. Thank you so much. And hi, Nicole. Very nice to see you. Hope you're doing well tonight. 
oh, Kathy, Sheely, still on vacation. Like, can I just live your life for a while, Kathy, please? Um, last trip. Uh-huh. Famous last words. I think she's going to bring it on home after that, though. She needs to work. She needs to get home. Kathy, you need to get home. I'm talking about you like you're not here. You need to get home so you can get your um, In Color Club. <laughs> I sent it out last week. You should probably have it today. Hello, Leslie, all the way over, all the way over. I don't know. One of these ways. In Australia, our beautiful Australian friends, hello, you guys. You might be coming on at a different time. I know this is Friday morning-ish from you. There's Andrea. Hello, Andrea. West Michigan. Very nice to see you. Corinne and Debbie and KZ, another Floridian. Oh, what? Okay, Leslie says she's so bummed. She got her pre-order. That, that made you bummed? <laughs> no, but you say the cute hippos and your smoky slate blends went dry. What? That's crazy. In, in route? En route? I don't know what happened to the hippos. They weren't available? Well, I hope you get them because they're super cute. If you don't get them for some reason, I'll have to send you a card with a hippo on it. We are using the hippos in my card stamp camp um, on Saturday. Little FYI for those of you that are going to be in stamp camp. We're using the hippos. We're going to have a little sneak peek. Sherry got her pre-order this evening. Wow. Well, I hope you're opening it up, taking a look at it right now, Sherry. And um, hello, Kathy from Texas. Well, hello. Very nice to see you. Yes, Kat, KZ is finishing a project, of course, because she's a project person. Yeah. Andrea is in bed. That's okay. Are you sick? No, you're yawning. It's a yawning emoji. I think that's perfect, Andrea. <laughs> you know that I, myself, and my little cash dog, we usually watch TV before bed. And it's it has to be something kind of light, funny, and not very difficult. And lots of times, <laughs> it's Golden Girls. It might be Frasier, too. Even though he kind of annoys me as a person, um, this is a very funny show. So anyway, I just watch, like, that's what we watch at night. <laughs> And I also watch a ton of demonstrators, just like you're doing. <laughs> well, hello, everyone. Okay, I need to stop saying hello to everybody. But um, you know that I like you so much. You're some of my favorite people in the world. And some of you might be new to uh, my channel, my page, whatever. So if you are, please don't feel intimidated. Please just jump on in, say hello, uh, talk with the other stampers here. Tell us about yourself, anything you want me to know. I will not pry, but we can start with maybe where you live and how long you've been stamping, okay? So let me turn around here and grab a few things. I have my handy cart, and um, I wanted, first of all, this is random, okay, but I just got these, and they're super cute, and so I want to show them to you. They're flags, okay, but they are, they're like canvas. I mean, they're nicer than, they're finished really nicer than canvas. And now I'm like, do I hang these outside? Are they going to get all, um, are they going to fade a lot? Does anybody have flags like this? They just came from Amazon. They were 10 bucks each. So they weren't like, you know, there wasn't a special order from Etsy or anything. Um, but they're so nice, I'm afraid to hang them out. <laughs> oh, gosh. So anyway, um... In case you, in case you need some new flags for your garden, there's two suggestions. And um, let's see here. I want to show. Well, do I want to show these right now? I have so much fun stuff. Yeah, let me show these to you right now. Let me point you down. We're gonna take a look at. Um, so I had a. I organized a swap. And it's going to be based on pre-order. So just an FYI, the current swap is closed. But anytime we have a catalog that is going live, just know that I'm planning on doing a pre-order swap for that. And that means that you probably need to be able to order during the pre-order period because we're going to turn them around and get them out before, um, the before the catalogs go live to customers. And so anyway, just keep that in mind. 
But so the first one that I did, we I, we had four, including me, because I started it late, because that's how it goes, right? But um, I want to show you the cards, because I think they're so pretty, and I can't believe that I haven't showed you the cards already. Like, what? I was so, <laughs> I've been so busy in the past few weeks. I mean, get real. Um, so anyway, let me put this on and put me over there and here we go. Okay. So, um, these are really nice. So my swap has particular, um, criteria for it. It has to have at least three layers, has to have at least one stamped item inside and out, has to have, well, we have other things. You have to have super clean, um, stamping and die cutting. Everything needs to be nice, sharp cuts, etc. And of course, new pre-order items are the um, feature. Okay, so this one is Roz, and isn't this beautiful? Hope you don't mind me showing them, but they are swaps, so that's what they're for. And um, then she has stamped the inside right, so that's beautiful. And this is the Hues of Happiness set. And you can see this is a die in the Hues of Happiness set. And she, yes, I can. I'm sorry, let me take that off. Are you gonna place an order, Kathy? I'll turn the banner off once you place an order with me and use the house code. <laughs> okay, let me take it off, there we go. <laughs> but it's there for a reason. If anyone wants to purchase from me, if you use that house code, I love it. Okay. All right, so here is Roz's card. It's very pretty. And um, like I said, the inside, very nice, Roz. She's done a combination of die cuts, right? And she stamped the sentiment. But these are all die cuts from the paper. Very cool. Okay, this is mine. Um, this was from T Boutique, right? And I used some glimmer paper. And I used a T Boutique DSP, the back side of it. I used some of the matte dots and this is parakeet party which i was trying to get my nails really close but when you actually look at them compared to Par parakeet party they're a little bit blue aren't they but anyway that's all right and so this actually doesn't qualify for this coming swap because this is technically a fun fold even though it's a simple fun fold and i'm not allowing fun folds because we're not writing tutorials and so anyway so that was my card and then we have another one with, this one is from Christy Gridley. And um, hello, Christy, if you're out there. And she um, used a combination. So she did Tea Boutique, and then she used Hues of Happiness flowers. She used some Wink of Stella, and she used these lovely, oh gosh, what are these called? They should just be called liquid dots. Um, I think they're called glimmer dots, but uh, they're gorgeous. And then she used the tasteful time-worn type embossing folder of time-worn type from behind it. And doesn't that add so much rather than just putting it on a blank card? And then finally, of course, a little bit of um, glimmer, a little tea tag, and then that's hers inside. I love it. Super cute. Again, this is straight out of uh, the DSP and you can just die cut that. And then she even made little envelope super cute and then the other brave soul was um, Deborah Babcock and she just had a birthday this week so I believe it was just yesterday so happy birthday again Deborah I hope you had a really good time and then so she did some great this is Sun Prince Sun Prince a beautiful collection of all of the dies and the stamps and this is a great label die that's in there and then of course this paper is to die for I love it so much. And so those were the first round of swaps. Now this next round, there's gonna be 12 of us. And um, so I'll bring those to you next month, shortly after the catalog goes live. So um, you'll have lots of great ideas, but just know that's kind of out there. And then this was just a really quick thank you card that I put together um, using Abigail Rose. And I really just love it. I think it's, it just came off great for how simple it was so 
that's kind of the trick of Stampin' Up, isn't it? It can be so simple because they put everything together. So I hope that gives you a few ideas, having fun with that. And now I bet you're wondering, what are we gonna work with tonight? Well, I will show you a little sneak peek and then we're gonna do our drawing, okay? So let's see here. Like I said, returning or existing stamp sets, not returning stamp sets, Mountain Air. I know, right? Who's used Mountain Air lately? Um, Mountain Air, I'm gonna use just this stamp from the Painted Poppies. And then, uh, where are the dies? Here they are. Majestic Mountains. And so this obviously goes with the photopolymer stamp set for Mountain Air. These are reversible. So when you see something that looks like this that follows with kind of a shaded area that's the same, uh, the same shape, that just means you flip this stamp around and then you can get this image. So it just gives you basically the same shape but very blurred. We will use the stamps in both ways tonight. And um, just as kind of a reminder of Mountain Air, Mountain Air carried over into the new catalog. So don't worry, it's not going away, at least for another year. Everybody's gonna be creating with it. Oh, see, Anne's never even heard of it. She was like, what? I can see her saying it right now. Hey, wait a minute. Anne, have you seen Painted Poppies? See, here's the cool thing. These two stamp sets came out before Anne was 100% into card making. Now she's like 110% into card making. And so things that we may have seen before, Anne hasn't seen yet. So that's super fun. Um, different style of card making than what I normally do. You know, I don't know. If I have a style, it's lots of die cuts, bright colors. I think there's still going to be some bright colors. But this is like making a scene, right? And <laughs> it's not my forte. But with Mountain Air, I can do it. And so I had a really fun time um, this week looking at different ideas on Pinterest. I chose some, I took some, I morphed some other ones, and then really I just played. But Bra says she loves Mountain Air, but she hasn't used it in e ages either. Yep, Anne's all in. The other day, I think it was just yesterday, Anne, when you texted me, it was kind of a rainy morning and we were both working, you know, in our respective whatever. And I got a text and it said, I wish I was home paper crafting. And I thought, I know, me too. <laughs> Jean, you don't have Mountain Air? Hello, Donna, nice to see you. Kathy Sanford loves Mountain Air and hasn't used it in a while. Kathy Sanford also was in front of this most beautiful, I'm not a motorcycle rider. And you can correct me, Kathy Sanford. It was probably a trike, is that what you call it? I'm sorry if I just said something that was really like um, an insult, but it was a, this beautiful red Harley trike, I think. She and some hot man, I think it was her husband, but I'm not sure, were um, posing in front of this. I'm assuming it was new, new to you or something. So anyway, congratulations. That looks really fun. I did not know this about you. So see the things you learn, right? <laughs> oh, thank you for sharing, Sherry. And yeah, you guys don't have it. Okay, well, maybe you're gonna want it. We have a couple, I can't show you in the catalog, but we have, just keep this in mind. If you like Mountain Air, there's a new one. Let me look it up. Some of you have your catalogs, right? So, um, let me look up. I'm just making sure you can't see me. You can't see it. Sorry, I'll get in trouble. Um, okay, Mountain Air is on page 95. So if you have your catalog at hand, and I know lots of you do, go to page 95. So Mountain Air is still there, but on page 94, there's a very similar set, only it's all about waterfalls. And some of these are like, so realistic. I can't believe it. Um, they are, they're also out and about. And okay, hold it. Hold it. I can show you this. I'm sorry. I was so worried about, I'm so worried about the new mini catalog. <laughs> what a nut. I can show you this. I just realized like, no, I saw this on Pinterest. Okay. So here's Mountain Air. Okay. 
$20 and then um, the dies are on page 172. See, I get really freaked out around new catalog time and rightly so. Okay, and the dies are 36, so 56, okay, for the, the bundle. And then here's Waterfall Canyon, and that's really cool. It has a t it has 12 stamps. It is photopolymer. Is it just stamps? I think so. It doesn't say it's part of a bundle. So it's very interesting, isn't it? Look at that. I love this, this bridge. And actually, if you look at this card right here, that's what I think is so cool. So if you go on Pinterest and look at these, if they interest you, wow, there's a ton of really cool things. Some of them I thought were painted. <laughs> we're not doing that tonight. <laughs> okay. Like prepare to be happy, but don't prepare to be amazed. <laughs> so anyway, this is what we're working with tonight. Now I am going to switch you over and we are going to have a drawing. Okay. So, um, I will just say this. When I put it on the wheel, I think you guys will will also say that it's pretty impressive. Okay, so we are going to have two winners tonight. Um, I will show you what we're winning when we get the winners. And the first person that gets drawn will have their choice of the two items. And then the second person will be the lucky person that gets what is left, okay? So, everything's good. It's all from my gently used stash. Uh, yeah. So, anyway, let's take a look. Let's do some spinning. And I can't see if you're leaving me comments. So, hold off on all the funny stuff until I get back. <laughs> look at all of those shares. I love it so much. <gasps> Elizabeth! Okay! Congrats. I should have the sound on, but I can't move all that stuff. I can't be the audio visual person. Okay. So Elizabeth, you are the first winner. And then let's see, we are going to spin that wheel and see who's our second winner. Oh, Susan F. All right, congrats, ladies. Susan F. Uh, just bought a kit from me. So anyway, very fun. All right, and um, I hope that's going well. I need to chat with Susan and make sure it's going well. All right, that was super fun. Okay, so I'll bring you back over just so I can show you. So Elizabeth is going to make the first choice and um, these are the items. So I have back on your feet. Okay. Very popular, right? And then I have birch, a very cool background stamp, birch. And then, um, there's going to be the checks and dots embossing folder. Again, somebody contributed this to my treasure chest. So thank you. And a lip mask. Okay. So, um, Elizabeth gets to choose from these stamp sets and then she gets to decide whether she wants the embossing folders, which is checks and dots, or if she wants the lip mask, which would you choose? Okay. That was super fun. So anyway, lots of shares, lots of views last week and lots of great fun comments. So I'm loving it. And I hope you guys are too. And like I said, thank you. You're already sharing so much. Pam, you sent me a message and just sent your hair. I will tell you. No, you won both of those things because we had a drawing. We had a drawing when I was gone for my event. And you won that. And then you won just last week. So, um, yeah. I don't, I'm not going to keep track of like, only one person gets to win in six months or whatever. I'm not keeping track of that. Um, the wheel, what the wheel says, we're going with the wheel. Okay. So as far as I know, it's pretty random. All right. Anyway, 
congratulations to Elizabeth and Susan. Good job, ladies. And uh, we'll see if they're on. But anyway, they'll be on eventually, right? They'll see it eventually. And if not, I'll let them know. Okay, so let's get started. Oh, what to start with? What to start with? I think... Uh, yeah, sure. Why not? Let's start with this one. Okay, so I'm going to show you. Um, so I, of course, I pre, I worked on these, but now we're going to do another one because I know I can improve on them. Okay, so this one's going to have a rich Razzleberry card base. And uh, this is what I ended up with for my first one. Oh, you know what? Just an aside here. Um, you guys can't see this. That's the first aside. There we go. And the second one is I am using a brand new phone today. So um, please let me know if you think the quality is better, worse, the same. Um, I certainly hope it's not worse. <laughs> but anyway, this is the first card that I'm going to make. And like I said, I'll improve upon it. But I'll show you the little tips and trip tips and tricks and whatnot um, for this one. And uh, there's lots of fun stuff, lots of fun techniques that you can do when you're kind of working on a scene, right? So I have some paper cut here. I did a little bit of prep work because, you know, Sometimes I'm organized like that. Can you believe it? Oh, thank you, Kathy. That's sweet. I thought it was really fun. The hard thing, one of the hard things for me when I'm doing this is um, I can't see the scene come together. <laughs> you know, like I'll put something in and until you're finished, you don't really see it. And so I have a hard time recognizing the background of foreground business. And I just think like, oh, well, that's just weird. Anyway, I guess that's part of the trick, right? So uh, I am going to bounce back and forth between using the Stamparatus and using, this is a long, this is our eye block, okay? So this Mountain Rage needs the eye block. Um, but for this card, I'm going to put it on the Stamparatus, and you will see why. Uno momento. Okay, so again, this is our Stamparatus, our precision placement tool, yes, and um, I'm going to take the mountain range off there. So when this, um, when Stampin' Up! says that this is reversible, that literally means that you can see this one, it has all of the cuts made into it, right? All the laser cuts that make it a mountain range, and then you can turn this over, put it on your block, and <laughs> then you can just get the same shape. Now, yes, I guess I would say all cling stamps are quote unquote reversible, right? However, what I was noticing, no, that's not a, what I was noticing, let's see if one of these are, oh brother, both of those are cling. Well, what I was noticing is that the cut on this stamp, these stamps are thicker and the cut on them is more straight so if you will take out your own photopolymer stamp set, um, I think you'll see that there's a little bit more of an outline on the photopolymer stamp, and then you'll just have the raised part, right? But since you're using all of this surface, they have like cut it exactly where, where the image stops. Anyway, take a look. But you know what? Just keep that in mind. If you like something that's just a shape, um, and it's a clean, it's a photopolymer stamp, just turn it over and use it, right? Okay, so I have the, um, little cushion that comes with the Stamparatus in here, and I don't really, I have some grid paper, but it's kind of filthy. No, this one's okay. I keep forgetting to order it. Can you believe that? What? I don't know what that's about. But I am using this like a right-handed person would. So I've got, I think, yeah, I think I kind of know that because I'm using it opposite of how I normally use it. Ta-da! But I kind of wanted to try and show you that you don't have to be left-handed or right-handed. You just can use it. 
Okay, so as you can see here, this is kind of in the middle. Um, probably there's a little bit more on the bottom. And I was thinking about making sure that I left room for those uh, cool flowers, the poppies that are in our foreground. And so I'm just kind of checking it out right here, right? And then I'm going to put the plate over and pick it up. And our card might move a little bit. I have it on this line. In fact, I should move it over a tiny bit more. Oh, that stamp isn't completely clean. I don't know what's on it. I don't know what color is on it. So we're going to do that. Oh, I know what's on it. That Knight of Navy. That Knight of Navy. You know it wants to attack you. Okay. <laughs> KZ looks a lot better than the one you made. I seriously doubt it. But really, it is, like, I'm sure I'll be even better with it the next time I play with it, right? I'm sure these cards, no, I'm not sure of this. I'm hoping these cards I make tonight will be even better than the ones I made when I was getting ready for this. So, there we go. And this is when you can use, like, a lot of your colors. So, a lot of your ink pads and stuff. Um, so, I used gray granite on this first mountain range and I just want to make sure that was right off. I think you can see this how I'm putting the ink pad to the mountain range kind of putting it at an angle you just don't want a sharp line where ink begins and ends that's why you go over it a few times because it is longer than the ink pad here I can get over if I will move my inspiration card then when people come in, they go, what is she making? <laughs> well, you're just going to have to wait and see. Okay, and the nice thing about this, of course, is if you miss anything, we got a great image, but if you do miss anything, um, it's sitting right where it needs to be. And then you can ink it back, ink it again, and bring it right back where it was, right? So these mountains have a little bit of snow on them right? And so how I'm going to do that is I need my chamois again. Who's late? Oh, Carla. <laughs> it's okay. We're just glad you're here now. I was thinking about you today. I was like, I wonder if Carla's going to be watching. Isn't that silly? Like, I know you have other things to do, but I was hoping you were going to be here and there you are. Okay. So, um, Let's see. Let's hold off on putting the ink, the Versa mark on that. Let me do the stamp. Let me stamp the mountain range. Okay. I'm doing this a little different than I did. See? All right. And so then again, it's totally clear. So you bring this in and it kind of angles, right? It kind of does this. Don't, don't try to force it to be another shape. You just need to kind of go with it. So I want my range to be kind of up by the mountains, but not covering the mountains. The mountains behind them are like much different altitude than um, the little trees we're going to put in front. And we know that, we're going to know that because we're going to put snow on these. They might be in, um, you know, in Idaho world, these would be the sawtooths <laughs> or the Cascade mountain range. But, um, yes, I'll tell you who could really work wonders with this stamp set and any kind of a scene stamp set. And that is Jen Houston. And I just hope Jen, if you happen to catch this, I hope you are just resting and getting strong because I need you to come back and work your magic with these scene stamps and with everything else, quite frankly. So just thinking about you, uh, these kind of stamp sets always make me think of Jen. Oh my gosh. Ah, I watch in awe. Okay, and this is Hair Pizzazz. Okay, oops. Now the first stamping I did of it, I used Old Olive and I didn't like it. So I came back with Pear Pizzazz. I know it's like, you know, it's like a much lighter color, but that's why it looks like that. So 
I was trying to take away some of the old olive. And so now I'm like, okay, now I know I wanted old olive, right? Easy as that. And I love using the Stamparatus. This is so friendly, a user friendly. It's very user friendly. Okay. And then I think, am I done with that? No, I'm not done. Now we're gonna bring this back. So let me grab the heat tool quickly just to make sure we want to make sure that this ink is dry and it probably is but why not just we're going to use the heat tool anyway so let me just heat it up while i'm drying this picture really quickly i know kathy i miss her period i know she would be doing videos if she felt good so i think she doesn't feel well makes me sad i don't like that i don't like that at all Okay, so now with this thing, we're gonna go back and forth. See, this is the brilliance of a Stamparatus. A little different than other stamping tools because we have this hinge. Oh, it's brilliant. Okay, now I'm just gonna take the Versamark. I'm not gonna do the embossing powder and all that business. Uh, I'm skipping that. I'm gonna bring it in and I'm gonna do kind of the tops, okay? I'm trying to not get too much and I'm trying to not do a straight line, but it's kind of gonna end up as a straight line, but we're gonna fix that. So just don't you worry about that. So we're putting Versamark on it. Okay, now I'm gonna bring it up from the Stamparatus. Hey Jill, and thank you for sharing, and I'm so glad to see your name pop up. Boop. Okay, and then this guy is going to get some embossing powder, and oh my gosh, I'm gonna use my old tray because I don't, I don't want to dirty my new one. <laughs> but we have a new tray, right? So in the new catalog, the new holiday catalog, you can order an embossing tray, which I think is the same size as this, only cuter. Um, uh, and then it comes with a stiff paintbrush, similar to this reverse tweezers, and um, an embossing buddy. And you guys have been, lots of you have been wanting the embossing buddy and you've been wanting um, the tray that I'm always using and you didn't even know that you needed the reverse tweezers and the paintbrush. These reverse tweezers, check it out. I love those. They look like a dental tool, which is very intriguing to me. Okay, so a little white powder on this. Now, this in particular is when your paintbrush is going to come into or use here. So, um, I have put like a lot, like I have my snow coming just pretty much clear down to my meadow, right? So, I'm going to take some of it off before we heat it up. Yeah, I like, I like that, but for this look, we want, you know, it's like springtime kind of. And also, what you're doing at the same time is getting rid of a straight line that you did, right? Snow kind of has a certain altitude that it will stick at, but it's not gonna be a straight line like that. I'm no meteorologist, but I will tell you, it doesn't work like that. Just from the fact of living in Idaho, I know this. Okay, and then just giving it a quick once over here. Okay, moving this away. You do not want to use the heat tool right with all that powder. You'll either blow it all over the situation or emboss it to the tray. Not good. All right, here we go, ladies. And it's, you will see it now, but we're gonna put some sky in here and then it'll really pop. And again, you could use, like later on, we are gonna use, um, oh, one of the browns. So, you know, start looking at mountains. We're even gonna make a purple card because 
that's what I see a lot here in the winter is like purple and pink sunsets and um, then that reflects on the mountains, right? So let's see here. Look at this. And some spots are going to be heavier and lighter and that's kind of what you want too. Because just like, it's like snow. Okay, so I'm going to try to let you see this. So you'll have something to compare it to once we put the razzle dazzle on this situation. That's right. I got the razzle and the dazzle right here. <laughs> Look at all those crazy tools. So let me put this powder away if you don't mind. Um, before I get it all over, that's going to be the last embossing we're going to do, but I did want to show you that because I love that so much. And actually I watched a couple of people do it, but I watched Frenchie Stamps. Frenchie, I can't remember her last name, but she's a great demonstrator in the U.S. And um, so she did that. It was really pretty. Okay, now I have a couple of other tricks up my sleeve, right? Um, first of all, I can feel tiny bits of powder there. If I had a Swiffer, um, I would just Swiffer that off, but that would mean I was way too organized. So we have masking paper now, right? And masking paper is just really thin paper with a really light tack to it. Kind of like a post-it, but kind of not. So I've already done this, and basically to use our masking paper, you stamp on it, okay? and then cut it out. And this was super easy to cut out, right? I just didn't want you to, I was using it earlier. And so I've used it for all the cards I made, plus a couple of cards that were mm, kind of fugly that I didn't show you. And um, <laughs> I'll show you at the end, okay? I'm not embarrassed by them, it's just they didn't make the cut. So anyway, you want to put this on. Now it's really easy to see where you want to cover right? Because we have that embossing powder on it. So this one's kind of losing its mojo a little bit, but that's okay. And your hands are going to get a little dirty. So if you're not into that, this is not for you, but I think it's worth it. And I definitely saw some lighter, I saw lots of scenes with much lighter backgrounds that I am not a light background kind of person. I've got to see some saturation of color. So instead of like a lot of people use so saffron, I am using Daffodil Delight. And um, one of our awesome blending brushes, as you can see, like I don't have a blending brush for every color. I do need, I probably need like uh, another three, but um, you know, lots of them, lots of times I just make do. You can wash them. And you can also just like rub most of the ink off just by doing what I just did, okay? So here is la technique. It's not French technique. I'm just saying it that way. I was stuck on it after French. France, same France. Yes, France Martin. So anyway, you rub it off a little bit to make sure that it kind of is evened out and it's not like sitting right on top of the bristles because that'll give you a really harsh bristly look bristly look <laughs> and you don't want that no nobody wants a bristly look um i feel like i want to chat with you guys i don't want to just sit there by myself okay so then right in here again my mask is probably you know i've probably used it seven times so my mask is probably like going to give it up, but we're going to use it. So I'm just putting um, just a big shock of, of yellow here, trying not to bring in <laughs> the colors off of the um, masking paper. And then I'm going to bring in some blue, but listen, I am not going to, there's a little ring around it kind of, because you will make a green area if you're if you start bringing your blue really close to your yellow, right? We know this. So kind of just keep it away, but it's still, you can still see it. It's not like a harsh line. And oh my goodness, I'm seeing so many 
things on my screen. It's crazy. Let's see here. Let's try again. I hope you guys aren't seeing it that way. Do you, are you guys having trouble with your screen or is it just me? Do you just see one picture? Or give me a thumbs up if it's okay. I think I see like three pictures. That's crazy. Oh, okay, maybe it's working now. I am not losing my mind. I promise you that's what I was seeing. We're gonna use Balmy Blue and Pacific Point. Uh, where's my Pacific Point? Come out from hiding. Oh, there it is. It was right on the top. Okay, good. See, um, I have a lot of screens open, exactly. And so, and so, oh, okay, you guys see it too. I gotcha. I don't know why it's doing that, but we will just get that off there. And let's take this back to zero. I'm not, I'm not sure why I did that. Here we go. I don't know what it was doing, but whoa, it gave me like, all right, Tango, stop that. So those dogs got in trouble this morning and they should be quiet. People are taking their trash in. Okay, sorry, Gabby. I've got it fixed now and I hope you guys can see just the, just the desk. <laughs> that was really weird. Um, okay, so I'm starting with Balmy Blue. Tango, that's enough. Tango, cool it. Anyway, um, starting with Balmy Blue, coming up into the mountains here, staying away from the sun for right now. Okay, I want to kind of lay down a base. And it's going to be a little uneven, the first few layers that you do. That's all right. We're okay with that. I know I have like 20 different screens open and I did not do that on purpose, trust me. I don't need to see my face 20 different times. I mean, I'm fine with it, but that was pushing it. Okay, I am gonna try and get down into this little corner without, we may have to make another mask, which is totally fine. It doesn't take long, trust me. Um, and so again, and I'll, I'll, maybe I'll like come right up around the top of that sun, but I'm going to kind of stay away from it. Oh yeah. We're going to need another mask. But we can get this one done. Okay. And then I'm going to bring in Pacific Point around the edges. Yes, so they got in trouble today. They both got bonked on the nose and I don't know if this is accurate or not, but it doesn't hurt them. I don't think it hurts them, but it hurts their feelings. <laughs> they, but um, I was having this phone delivered today, but I kind of forgot about that, that I'm sure that they were gonna ask for a signature, right? Cause they, charge a bazillion dollars for phones and so anyway the guy came up to the door and I was in here working and didn't really think about it and I have the ring doorbell so I didn't hear it anyway they got so loud and then they started fighting with each other on the couch and I came up out of here <gasps> look at it it's so pretty don't you love that that is like, who likes this? I better see some likes coming up. <laughs> anyway, um, this is like the most fun thing about the masking paper is that when you peel it off, you're like, wait, what? I did that? Whoa, look at me. <laughs> Kathleen says she usually does the sky first and then the mountains. Yeah, that's a way to do it too, for sure. So anyway, yeah, they got in trouble and... Um, I'll tell you what, they were quiet for a very long time. <laughs> but it didn't, it didn't stick, obviously. Okay, now, I was using something for green. Oh, here we go. Um, 
How about the green one? And so I'm going to bring the pair of pizzazz back in and just do a little bit of this, I would call it a meadow. I'm just going to finish it off. So we don't have just white down there. Isn't this fun? Is it fun when you see it happening? I know I like it so much. Okay. So I'm just bringing it in, right? Oh, the other thing is we've just laid down a ton of ink. And so normally what I do is I just bring in something that I can put my hands on. It's a finger rest. Okay. And it's usually just a scrap of paper. It's um, a totally different color. And then that way I know as I'm working on this kind of stuff and that mint macaron is sitting on my desk. I'll just know, oh yeah, just grab that. So just trying to, and again, like this part, I'm not trying to saturate the color. I'm just trying to make it not look like it was such a harsh starting and stopping of the stamp. That you get every little layer adds more, right? Isn't this fun? Okay, now, oh, Kathy. Yeah, they were in trouble. I do not allow fighting. <laughs> For one thing, which Cash was right in on it, but um, Tango weighs three or four pounds more than Tank Cash now. And so Tango gets to, well, obviously, who am I always talking to about barking? So Tango was like way animated already because the trash man had been here. And um, anyway, once they started fighting, I was up and I wasn't having it. Oh, so anyway, the finish of that story is that um, I was bonking him on the nose and the whole time the man was standing at my door waiting for me to sign for the stupid phone. <laughs> there you go. Um, just another day in the life. I'm surprised that the Humane Society didn't come over. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to use... I used basic gray because I knew there was nothing else black on here and I wasn't going to start. It, and so it's really dark, right? It's dark enough. Um, I wanted it to be able to stand up to the color I'm going to put on the poppies. And, um, but I didn't want to use black. It looks black though compared to everything else. So if you can imagine then what black would look like. Oh my gosh. Still looks weird, doesn't it? Still looks a little odd. Yeah. It's like, what is she doing? Uh, where'd my chamois run off to? So you get a lot of things out for this little project. But it's super fun because it's putting stamps to paper, the best ever. And you use a lot of your ink pads. So. I don't need to get that perfectly clean. We're not using that one again. And then what I use... Um, you could use red poppies. You could use poppy parade. But you know what? I liked red transilberry. So, um, I just, I guess with the other colors, I just wanted to choose red transilberry. And that, my friends, is one of the cool things about our stamping, right? Is that you get to choose. Yeah, I know. Isn't it fun, Jill? It's a cool combo, isn't it? Okay, and I use the light rich razzleberry. And you needed something dark enough to color in over the pair of pizzazz, right? But it doesn't have to be red. These are so cute, and I haven't used them forever. And they're still in the catalog. And um, they have a beautiful set of dyes with them, so. Let's not forget about our old friends. I call them old, but they're not old. Stamps last, I don't know, 20 years. Oh, last week, so as I said, I didn't get through all the comments last week. Some of them I just saw tonight. And one thing I saw was Andrea asked me, do I keep any retiring sets or do I, you know, sell them all or give them away? Well, the vast majority have to go, Andrea. Um, they just do. Because here's a couple things I figured out, even before I was a demonstrator. I figured out that my next favorite stamp set is 
coming down the road. <laughs> okay. So I was always worried about, oh, I cannot give this stamp set up. It's my favorite. And then I found out, oh, um, I have a lot of favorites. So anyway, I always approach it with that attitude. But I am a demonstrator, right? So we, in general, use current product only because I don't want somebody falling in love with something I do and then I have to say, oh yeah, no, that retired. Um, however, it gives me an opportunity as just a crafter from a crafting standpoint. It gives me an opportunity to use a lot of beautiful things and um, hopefully to share them with you and make you fall in love with them. Um, but I don't have room and I find that now that I'm a demonstrator, I don't have time. Um, I'm always, I don't know, do I ever just sit back and say I have everything done? No, because I create a lot of projects for myself. <laughs> so I will tell you though, then the question is, well, what have I saved? Well, here's, I think I have three stamp sets that right now that I saved. The Llama stamp set, which is a Stampin' Up stamp set. The Llama, super cute. Until we have a new Llama, I will keep that one. Um, and then, of course, I kept the Paris stamp set that has the beautiful Eiffel Tower die. I'll probably never get rid of that. And I absolutely loved the designer series paper that went with that sweet. And then, um, I have the ladybugs, not the last ladybugs, but ladybugs that were in a celebration and they are really animated and have lots of cutesy faces. And there's a big, like huge flower that's with it. Anyway, I still have that set and I love it, but I have it because I keep thinking I'm going to make a set of cards with it. <laughs> when did it retire? I don't know. Was that three years ago? Okay, so here's my deal. I hope you like this. Um, I definitely think it's improved. I'll tell you what I like about it is changing the, the um, trees to pear pizzazz. I think that um, Old Olive was too harsh. So, I don't know. You guys can tell me what you think. And, um, oh goodness, Kathy, you don't have the patience to do this? No, it's super fun. And, yeah, like just... Of course, I'm talking, so that takes longer. Okay, look what I've done. I've made this silly, weird thing because I was trying to think of how I wanted to map this, and I couldn't choose a color, one of the dominating colors that I liked. I kept trying, and so look, I made my own mat just by bringing in like the rich raspberries down here by the flowers, right? And then a little bit of green in the middle and then blew up where the sky is. So, and I didn't spend much time on that at all. See it? Yeah. And so this is what this is gonna get mounted on top of. And then I felt like it really went much better with the rich raspberry base. Like if you look at it just without, I think it's, no. It needs some sort of a transition to my eye. So anyway, that was the thought. And let's see, should I use dimensionals? No, I think I should lay this directly onto this one. As far as the sentiment, I think the sentiment is gonna be inside. Um, you definitely could like take one of our little circles and um, you know, put, put a sentiment on that and put it somewhere. But I've just made a scene and I don't want to, there's no place that I've left in this scene for there to be a sentiment. I just like the scene. So and it's colorful, but it's still scenery, right? Cause you know me and I like the um, neutrals and all, but it's not my forte. And let's see here, this would be a lot, that part would be a lot quicker if I would just get my seal out. Now everybody remember, you don't run it like this. It doesn't work very well. You need to tilt, tilt it. Give it a 45 degree angle. It will go on so much better. And then I always go 
down the both sides and then just a little hit in the middle. And that's more than enough, I think. But I'm not gonna be super cheap on my adhesive because that's what holds the card together. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. I like it a lot. And let's just, let's see. Oh, I chose two stamp sets that don't have um, a sentiment. Those aren't gonna work. Anyway, we won't put a sentiment in it right now, okay? We don't wanna worry about that. I will do that a little bit later. And um, we are going to phase into the second card, which is purple. Get out, y'all. But I do want to show you a couple of things here. I'll see if I can get the screen working, but we're gonna go old fashioned right now. This is the Adhesives Essentials Kit. It's so essential, I'm like tripping over my words. Oh, very soothing card, I love that. I'll show it to you again at the end, okay? And take a picture of it. So this is everything you would need if you were coming to a class with me, but also it's, a, it's like the majority of our adhesives that I think are second to none. And I found this perfect little tote to put them in. Okay, so I'll show you what you get in this. And this is something you purchased directly from me because of the tote and everything. And you also get a thank you card and, you know, little goodies like that. So it has a full size seal plus and a seal. And those are not the refills. Um, these are the new seal and seal plus. You get a mono liquid glue, mini glue dots, you get a full size mini Stampin' Dimensionals, full size Stampin' Dimensionals, half a pack of black dimensionals, an adhesive remover, because you have to have an adhesive remover, and then, oh my goodness, something fell out. But you also get, not this one, you get a brand new one. It's a sand eraser, but the ones I have in the kits are half sand eraser and half um, rubber eraser. So it's a eraser for pen or pencil. Okay, and so this is $40. And um, if you only wanted, remember I said that the way it is, these are brand new. If you only wanted refills, so if you've already been using this and you wanted refills, then it is $32. And um, it, there is shipping that applies, or if shipping applies, then um, we have to take care of that. But I think you will really like it. And like I said, then it's just in this little clear tote, super handy, and you can put it with all your other goodies. But especially if you go to stamp camps and things like that a lot, um, most often you are asked to bring your own adhesive. And so um, here is a great a great option for you, okay? And so I'll just be selling those until I don't have any more. And um, the other thing is I want to bring up, oh brother, I hope my screen doesn't flip out. Let's see if I can do this without it getting all weird on us, right? Let me bring this up. Whoa, okay, Bubba. And then let me bring this in and let's see. Now I can't, I can't see comments. So, um, so I also have some kits. They are custom kits that I have made that I'm really in love with. They are actually um, designs that I used at the retreat with, some of them are exactly the same as the retreat and some of them are slightly different. But, um, so each kit will make eight cards plus one 3D project. And in this picture, you can see it features the hues of happiness. So to make the cards as I designed them, you would need to have the hues of happiness bundle. However, anything else that's die cut, um, all of the card stocks, the um, everything basically except for the bundle and then the adhesives and your die cutter um, are included in this set. And so you'll get a half a package of any embellishments and things like that. Okay, so this is again, Hues of Happiness. Let me, I think I need to back out of this. And this one is Sending Smiles, okay? So obviously you know that Sending Smiles is a bundle that's in the catalog. And so with this one, the 3D Project is a, is a lip balm holder, which is really fun, it's an explosion box. 
Okay, and so that's that one. All of these are $25 plus um, $9 shipping if you need the shipping, okay? Here's the cup of tea. Remember my swap card? Well, you'll make two of those. And then um, my little card over here, let's get together and spill the tea. That's another one of the cards. And this one also has um, a post-it holder, just like the first set. And then we have this one, this 3D project's kind of fun. It's an actually, it's a little wall hanging, it's an arch. And so um, you get all the cardstock and things to put all of this together, right? And then there's one of the little cards on the right hand side. It's a pretty little trifold, I guess, gatefold card with a front panel. And then finally, did I show you all of them? I did show you all of them. So anyway, I have all four of those card kits going now, believe it or not. And um, again, they're $25 and you'll, you'll have supplies to make eight cards. And that's four cards. No, that's two each of four different designs and um, plus the 3D project. And then of course you will have um, lots of extras of DSP and all that stuff. Thank you so much for saying that Roz. I love it. So anyway, um, those are all available. Again, they'll be available until I don't have time to do them. <laughs> okay. So um, please, you can just private message me, probably do a private message if you want me to see it, right? Um, because there's lots of comments here. So I do appreciate the comments. We don't want to stop those. Um, all right. So with that, it's on to card number two, as well as if you're loving mountain air and you're thinking, Hmm, I think I need to add that to my stash. I would love to sell this to you. You just pop on over to the stamping zoo.com and, um, hit the shop now button. And that's all you have to do. That's how easy it is. In fact, we never do this. So, let me take you on over there. It looks like this, in case you've wondered. And so the screen I'm showing you is on a Mac. So it will be a little bit abbreviated um, over here. The tabs will be abbreviated if you look at it on a mobile device, phone, or iPad. So sometimes these three dots will show up right over here. Just click on the three dots, and then that shows you all of the tabs. But here's Shop Now. Join the Zoo Crew with a great joining special right now. Uh, Chopped, which is our monthly card competition. Christmas in July, which is an event that's coming up. And then my June stamp camp, which is closed. But, um, so I have all of the information over there. Just wanted to show you what it looks like. And when you hit the shop now, oh, let's make sure this works, right? <laughs> and um, there you are. You're shopping with me at that point. See, here I am. Here I am. The little tiny face. <laughs> I can't believe they don't give me a bigger screen than that, right? Okay, so anyway, friends, that's how you do it. It's as simple as that. But of course, if you have any questions, or you know what, if you don't even, if you just want me to place the order for you, just call me. It's totally easy. Okay, back to cards. Yes, the Purple Mountain card. Thank you. I love this card. And so, again, um, I just was like, well, I know I like Purple Mountains. And so we're going to go for it. Okay, so I have pre-cut some of the pieces. Again, kind of like Christy's card in the swap, I used the time-worn type. It needed something behind it, but I didn't want to take away from this little panel of the cards, right? And then since it's on purple, like we could have taken white and um, inked it all up. But why should we do that when we can just start with a piece of the Highland Heather, okay? So that's where we start. And now, of course, we're gonna do some stamping. And I think we'll just bring it up on the blocks at this point. Uh, let's see here. Because I use it a couple of different times in the stamping. I use first and second generation is what I'm trying to say. And so again, you need block I. 
I think it's too big to even fit on a phone. No, it'll fit on my new phone. Um, my new phone has a ton of, um, it has like five lenses on it though. So, okay, now as you can see, we are using the reversible side on the cardstock, and then we're doing one that's um, has all the detail in it. Okay, this is Knight of Navy, and then Highland Heather, first generation, Highland Heather, second generation. Okay, so instead of putting this on like I normally would, I'm going to turn it over so the detailed side is face up, and then I'm going to put it on the block. Weird. And then I'm going to grab my Highland Heather. Where are you? Oh, you're over with the settles. Hello. Okay, and again, just like when I was doing it on the Stamparatus, I don't want to have any lines in it. That, that kind of shows where the ink pad stopped, and that's not the best. I also want to use my paper piercing mat to get the best image, especially with these reverse. I found that you really needed to do that. Um, let's see. Sorry, but I need the screw paper. Because again, the stamp is longer than, okay, I think we're still fine. I don't think it's all dried out. And so I'm gonna go about in the middle, because this is the first generation. Full strength. Oh, that's very dark. I bet it was second generation. Let's check it out. Thank goodness there's two sides to this paper. Okay, let's try it now. How about this? That looks good. That looks like the third though, still. All right, well, we're gonna put it on. That's fine. Oh, that's sweet. Susan, you're gonna have to rewatch it with your Mountaineer stamp. I like that. Carla says, yeah, I'm gonna get in on that too. Okay, now this is another thing I'm gonna do. I'm gonna switch it over right to the left a little bit, and then I'm gonna bring it in and press it down. We're gonna go with that. It must lighten up when it dries. So that's all right. Hi, honey. It's almost time. Yes, you have to wait for mom to make her cards. Yeah. Are you going to be patient, little guy? You guys have been, um, I get so mad at those Instagram. Well, it's probably on TikTok, but, um, I watch Instagram and those little sayings and stuff that get stuck in my head my lord. And the one that's stuck in my head this week is, um, I'm going to stick it in your head. <laughs> so they always, it's different. Like they use the same audio, right? And then everybody uses it. And so this audio is, um, sounds like a kid, but it says, um, I was born a dog. I identify as a dog, but to my mom, I just a baby. Okay, who has heard that? <laughs> and it's always hilarious. Like they do the three, you know, they do like three different things. And the dog looks all, you know, put together. And and then, um, of course, when it says, I just a baby, then he's usually wrapped in a blanket or something. So anyway, I'm going to give that to you tonight, free of charge. That is second generation. See, first generation would have wiped it out, obliterated it. That must have been what I was thinking about. And then that Knight of Navy has to get put away. That stuff likes to stick. Oh, I need it again. But I know it is. Poop time. Poop time. Nobody mention it. Act normal. Whatever that means. Okay, now I want it to be right side up. Okay, so this is our purple panel. Isn't it already beautiful? And then we have a white panel that, well, we're just going to stamp on it. So, and see that navy's getting all over it because navy, darn it, if it wasn't so pretty, I would call it evil. <laughs> so we're going to stamp this quote unquote regular, right? We want to see all of the 
crags, rocks, divots. Oh, this is so beautiful. You guys, look at it. If you get this stamp out, I mean, if you have this stamp, you should get it out right now. It's so pretty. And what you could do if you wanted to color this, um, color like inside of the areas, is you could take your blender pen right now, especially because it's Night of Navy, you could um, take your blender pen and color it, and it would soften all of those lines, should you want to do that. It's just a, another choice for a different look, right? So I'm gonna put this over here. I've gotta clean it a little bit because again, it will get all over Hell's Half Acre. <laughs> Yeah, exactly, Susan. We see, but we don't see. I was just telling Roz that the other day. She was telling me what she was going to use for our swap. And I was like, I swear, I don't I don't know that. And I always kind of, I don't pride myself on it, but I always think I'm a pretty careful watcher, but nope, I missed it. Now I am gonna die cut this. We have to have at least one die cut in Elise Alive, right? And so I'm just gonna die cut the whole thing. I will bring it right back. Cassie, what are you doing? I know what you're doing. I'm looking for something. Not in here. So after work, guys, I um, was going 60 miles an hour as usual. And um, I had a million things to do. Because I decided at noon that I was going to mow the lawn. And so I did that instead of running my errands. And then I forgot that one of my errands was going and getting the dog's food. And they, you know, have special food. They have dry food. They eat turkey at lunch. But then they also use this, eat this stuff called Fresh Pet. And so I had to go down to Albertsons and get that. Because it's in the refrigerated section. And anyway, um... And I needed a shower because, remember I told you, I had mowed the lawn. Lord, I got so much done. I feel so accomplished. Okay. All right. Bringing this back in. And this is a little bit longer, I believe. Just a tad longer. Which is nice, because then you can decide, you know, if you want it slightly over to the left or the right. Okay, now I'm going to show you something, and I'm going to show you then how I changed it up to fit what I like. Here's how it looks when you just die cut it. Do you see what I've done? Do you see the slight difference? The difference is that right above the mountains, I colored in light Night of Navy Stampin' Blends. And so, there you go. I like it better. I feel like it's, while it's not exactly the same color, because it is um, alcohol, it's a little different, but I liked to have a little bit difference of a difference here without it being white. I thought that the white just kind of is a little jarring. You could trim this down so that, you know, you could trim it with scissors and take all that white off if you wanted. I don't mind there being a break, but I don't want it to be white. I just didn't care for it. So I'm just going to take my, again, this is, you know, it's a different formulation of ink. So it comes off as slightly different. And also I'm using the light. Probably the dark would take care of it. But then I didn't want to lose the detail that's in the stamp. So, this was kind of my best of both worlds. And you can do this on a lot of, you can do this on any die cut thing. If you don't like the white around it, but you still want to take the benefit of the die cut, then once you've die cut it, take your blends. I say blends because they're just so smooth. They go on so smooth. You could also do it with Stampin' Write markers though. Those are the water-based markers. So I'm going to finish out this mountain range. 
right? Doesn't take long at all, even if you were doing multiples. And then I'm going to bring it up like this in color right here because you can still see that, believe it or not, even with my bad eyesight, it still picks up the difference. And so I'm coloring on it with like a 90 degree angle, perpendicular, whatever you want to call it. Just make sure you don't come down and color on what you've stamped. Okay, and then that is just a slight difference, but I really like it. Yes, I think it's good. And I want to move this over just slightly. So it's going to be hugging the left hand side. I'm going to cut hardly anything off. And then I'm going to cut a little bit because I don't want my mountains to just line up. See, I like it too, Corinne. Yep, get it off the retired shelf, Susan. Get it off the retired shelf. It should not be there. It's still got work to do. <laughs> and then after this one, because it goes together much, really quick, huh? Um, I will show you the, they aren't really my outtakes, but I'll show you the ones that didn't make the cut. <laughs> and you guys can, you know, take what you want from them. Um, I think there are definitely lessons to be learned from them. So, okay, and then we just take our snips, right? Best paper crafting scissors in the world, only $10. And um, that's it. Ooh, I like it. And then I'm going to take this little guy. I'm gonna show you one last trick with the Stamparatus and it doesn't have to do with stamping. So you take the Stamparatus, let me move this um, piercing mat. Okay, so this mat, I didn't want any difference in, I didn't want it measured down. So it's the same exact measurement as the front of the card. And that's kind of hard to lay down um, onto the top and get all of your borders correct. And so here's a little trick that I like to call well, it doesn't have a name. I was just kidding. Um, I like to call it getting it right. Make sure that your words are upright. There's the word harvest. So this this embossing folder really does have, you know, actual words from some 19th century poem. And then if you use the hinged part of your Stamparatus as your guide, then it's perfectly even, right? So. No more. Oh my gosh, snips are now eleven dollars. <laughs> well, I guess you should have gotten some before they were when they were ten. All right, thanks for letting me know. I didn't realize that. Okay, and then we have this, of course, and we had a piece of navy. What did I do with it? Let me see if it's in the trolley. I might have to cut another one because you know it just has to be. We have to have it. All right, okay, let's see here. It was a weird measurement. It's four and a quarter by, where's my fabulous ruler? The best ruler in the world, right, Leslie? Yes, Leslie has the ruler too. It's good stuff. It's good stuff, but I can't find it. Let's see, I wish I knew where my little sliver of navy was. Well, that's okay. Here, I'm going to give it a try. So I know it's by four and a quarter long. I already know that. So I got to see if this piece will get me there. Four and a quarter. And then... Oh, I wish I remembered the measurements. It was a funky measurement because I trimmed down my paper. That's not right. Let's see here. I'll just use this one. I'll just use the purple. 
the purple is. Sorry, peeps. We're gonna get this figured out though, because we have to put it together, because that's how cute it is. How am I gonna send it out to some of you if I don't make it? <laughs> oh, for Pete's sake. No scraps of navy? What? Okay. Talk amongst yourselves. Yes, Leslie's here. Okay, good. <laughs> Best ruler in the world went missing. I don't know where it is. And let's do that. Ooh, I don't want to cut through my finished piece. That would not be good. I would cry. I would cry. And then this is not four and a quarter, it's four and a half. Yes. Okay. That makes sense. Alrighty, let me see if I got it right. Hot child in the city. There we go. All right. And I also use something that is retiring soon. It's $5 right now. The denim ribbon. <gasps> Get out. You need it. Okay. It's just called denim ribbon. So guess where it is? It's in my store. Yep, it is. Okay. And then this one I glued down flat onto the, um, I know your $15 ruler. It should like, I don't know, make your coffee for that or something. Oh my gosh. You know, I just had this fleeting thought that was really nice. It's Friday tomorrow. Yes, I know show offs in Australia. It's already Friday, but you know what? I'm slow and we have a tiny bit of difference because as good as you think you are, you still might be a little bit off. So, no worries, we just trim that off. And there you go. PDF, you're going to the races. Now, I put this on dimensionals because, you know, we had to use a little dimensional. But I also put this ribbon directly on the back of this. So, I did that with a couple of glue dots. Blue dots, gotta love them. You can get them in the adhesive kit. That and a lot more. Okay. And so this just is gonna lay like this. And I'm going to affix it underneath. Okay? So I just eyeballed it. There wasn't a certain measurement I used, but I know that I want it there ish. Okay? And so I'm gonna put like. Oh, actually, I should glue it together. Here's what I did too. So I just put that, this glue dot, the second one, in the middle of my ribbon so that I could form the V. Okay, and it doesn't really matter how even it is because it just peeks out from um, under your picture. Now I turn this forward so I can see how how long it's going to be and if I like it that's it that's how easy it is and then if you want to you can sandwich it between um, a stamp and dimensional so you know if you're worried about it coming undone it won't but just in case you're worried about your glue dot situation It's my fault. Hey, it's not like I get a cut from the ruler, right? You can thank Tim Holtz. <laughs> it's like one of the few pieces of contraband I use because we don't sell a ruler. I know that we have, or we probably had it as a promo in the past, but I didn't get it. I didn't know anything about it. So 
I mean, he did, did that without telling me. See, I knew this was too long. What was I thinking? Okay, now I have to cut off a quarter inch of this. Okay, you're gonna see some fancy paper trimming. So I made this a little longer than I needed to. Now I remember that. Thanks a lot, Lisa. Um, and so we are gonna cut off a little bit of this. Yeah, you can do it. It might mess up your paper trimmer a little bit, but let's see if I can get a quarter of an inch off of here without um, hitting a glue dot. Maybe. Can I do it? <laughs> and then it makes this sticky and you have to clean it off, but I've done it before. Okay, so it didn't cut through the mountains, but now we know, now we have a straight strip. I knew I couldn't just trim a quarter inches off. I mean, I'm not like Norm on this old house. Okay, all right, it's like it never even happened. Okay, so I had this longer because I wanted to be able to trim the edges, except I forgot about that part. And then finally, I thought it looked fun with the pearls on it. You don't have to use the pearls. Um, I don't know, maybe maybe one without and one with. But um, the pearls are just kind of fun. And so this is what they look like. They carried over into the annual catalog as well because that's how cool they are. And um, so let's see here, let me bring in, so these are the cards that we made tonight. We just made two, but I was talking through them the whole way, right? And then this is the one that I worked on, and then this was the better one. Don't you think? Yeah, I'm going to move this gacky paper so we can... Oh, look at that. <laughs> it's like I just throw them on the floor or something. That's crazy. <laughs> so, um, these are the cards we made. I think they're really kind of fun. That one has an insert. It doesn't. It's going to have an insert. It just doesn't yet. Look at those cute little cards. I like them so much. And so let me show you my, I was working on what I wanted was, oh my God, I have to show you this first one. This is so ugly. Look at this one. Who wants that on a card? No, don't fight over it. Don't fight over it, ladies. <laughs> See how I was trying to make a lake? <laughs> oh my gosh, it looks like something from um, Stranger Things. But then, okay, here's my second one then. Okay, so here was the first one where I tried to make a lake. It's ugly, you can say it. But then here's my second one. I think they got a lot better. But I kind of ruined it because I put these white. There's not waves in there, uh, no. But see, I was trying to do this reflective thing. And then I realized I didn't put a moon anywhere to show like it's reflecting. Um, not that it's, you know, I mean, this is, this is not like my profession, but, um, I got a lot better. And then I was trying to put stars in the sky with a gel pen. See, and I even made up uh, the big dipper, <laughs> but I like it, but I, it's not, I don't love it. I liked that. I kind of, I like that this was my first one. Okay. And then this was my second and I came a lot further, but, um, anyway, so that's what I was playing around with, but these are the ones that I these are the ones that I worked on and gave to you. See, so there's a little bit of back, there's a little bit of work in the back end of this thing to um, pull this off for you guys and make it look presentable. So I do really appreciate you um, hanging in there with me and watching this. I think it was really fun. Yeah, I think you guys think it was fun too. You can admit it. You can admit it, it's okay. Whoops. I'm going to come in here and say goodbye to you guys. All right. And let's see. No, I don't want that one. I want this one. And this one and this one. Oh, brother. Sorry, ladies. Boop. This. And this, I can't believe that took me that long. They're all gone by now. Um, I do have one thing to tell you. Please do not shoot the messenger. Okay, this is not like my good news. But um, 
you've probably already heard, we are not selling the magnetic plate, the magnetic die cutting plate. We're not currently selling it. And it's because it's doing stuff like this. Do you see the edge? The edge, um, so the magnetic part is coming up off of the this two pound plate. I can't believe it. Um, and actually I was talking with Roz about it because she told me about it a couple of days ago. And I was like, that, I can't believe it. Mine are fine. And then it was like, it, it was like it heard. And that later that day it started doing that. Now I will tell you, I'm going to, I'm going to take this because, you know, I don't have anything to lose. It's fine. And, um, the company has specifically told you not to do this though. So don't do this. It'll probably void your warranty. And of, um, of your die cutting machine and you could hurt your die cutting machine. So absolutely do not do this. However, I am going to take some Gorilla Glue or I think there's that stuff that's called something 6,000 and then I'm going to put some clamps on it and I'm going to see if it will hold because it really just seems like it's the adhesive that's not holding. Anyway, I'm going to try it. But I will tell you, you don't have to try that because, you know, here's what the company is doing for us, which is, I'm not surprised, but they're really making you more than whole. So if you've purchased your plate, um, you get to keep it. They're not asking you to send it back. Use it as long as you can use it, you know, but um, you will be getting a credit back for the cost of the plate. And, um, I think they were taking it, I think they were going to take about 45 days maybe, but then when you get ready to place an order as you normally did, however you placed an order for this is how you will get your credit back. So, um, like I had one customer buy it directly from me as part of a class. So I will get the credit back and I am responsible for giving it back to my customer. Okay. But I know a couple of my other customers ordered it online so you will be seeing the credit come back to you in your account. When you place an order, you will have a credit in there. And it might not be, like I said, um, you know, the company said they're probably going to have it processed within 45 days. So, you know, the sad news is you can't buy it if you already, if you don't have it now, um, you can't buy it. And I don't know, are they going to bring it back? Are they going to try it again? I don't know. I know they were probably pretty sick about it, right? Because anyway, um, not, nothing's perfect. And if that's the worst thing that happens to me this week, I'm okay with it. But just know that you purchased it. If you purchased it, you're going to get your money back. Okay. So yes, thank you, you guys. Please don't forget about our mountain air stamp set. Like I said, I've been wanting to get it out and then I kept getting, you know, pulled in different directions by other things, lots of new things, but, um, not a thing wrong with mountain air and the same with painted poppies, right? Neither of these have sentiments. So you can put any of your other sentiment stamps with them. And, um, so congratulations to the winners, Elizabeth and Susan. I will be contacting Elizabeth and um, she will get to choose. And then the other fun things will be going out to Susan. Thank you so much. Please, um, like I said, take one last chance to like, share, subscribe. Um, leave me a nice comment or, or tell me something you liked. You're sending me all sorts of great things right now. That was so nice of you. I will have time tonight to look through them and I can't wait to read all these comments. Uh, but let me know if you need anything. Let me know if you would like to purchase one of the four kits that I previewed tonight and um, I get those out to the mail in the mail to you really soon by this weekend I think and um, just have a great night everybody I'll see you soon